If you've ever been shopping around for a sim racing wheel, or even just looking to get into this hobby, you've most likely heard the term force feedback thrown around over and over again. But what does it even mean, and is it important? Let's find out. When referring to sim racing, force feedback is a feature within certain wheels that try to simulate the feel of a real car by making the wheel react with force and resistance. The problem is that it's extremely tricky to explain to someone who's never actually experienced it. Pretty much when you're driving a real car, the driver can get a sense of the vehicle's grip, any bumps or curbs hit, the feeling of the road, etc. by using all their senses. For example, you know you hit a pothole because your body can literally feel the car as it goes through it. But in the virtual world, there's no real way of feeling that. As a result, a force feedback wheel can react in order to appeal to your sense of touch and give you more awareness of the virtual car. A force feedback wheel will, for example, give counter resistance when turning into a tight corner at high speeds, shake and rumble when your virtual car hits a curb, goes off-road, hits gravel or sand among many other things for example. All of this is done to not only increase realism and immersion, but most importantly give essential cues to the driver which would otherwise be impossible to feel. With all great things however, there seems to always be a catch. The catch with force feedback wheels for sim racing is that they will inevitably be pricier than those without it. That's why when you're looking to buy a racing wheel, there seems to be so many options under the $100 price point, and then the price suddenly jumps to the $200 mark for certain wheels. At the moment, the most budget-friendly wheels with force feedback, both of which I've used and highly recommend by the way, are the Logitech G29 and G920 and the Thrustmaster TMX and T150, which can range anywhere from the low to mid 200s if you're buying them new. So is a force feedback wheel worth it? If you ask me, 100%. I would even go as far as to say that wheels without force feedback shouldn't even be considered for 99% of people who are seriously looking to begin driving in the virtual world. This is because without force feedback, you literally have little to no feel of how the car is behaving, making it nearly impossible to drive on the limit, or even close to it if I'm being honest. The only decent reason someone might have when purchasing a non-force feedback wheel is if you're buying it for a young child who has never in their life driven a car and just wants to begin experiencing the feel of holding a wheel. And I guess if you just want to play games like Mario Kart and other arcade games, a force feedback wheel won't really be necessary. But chances are you're looking to play games like Forza, Gran Turismo, or The Crew, which even though aren't the most realistic, will still require a force feedback wheel for anyone who wants to take the driving at least somewhat serious. Once you're in the market for a force feedback wheel, you'll start hearing terms like gear driven, direct drive, and belt driven. These are just used to refer to different mechanisms within the wheels that produce the force feedback. Gear driven wheels like the Logitech G29 and G920 are on the lower end of the spectrum because they can't produce too much force, are a little noisy, and are slower to react among a few other things. But don't get me wrong, even these low end gear driven wheels are still miles superior to those without force feedback. Belt driven wheels have a good reputation because they offer a very solid amount of performance without being excessively expensive. Thrustmaster, a sim racing hardware manufacturer, is best known for producing belt driven wheels because they make most of them. For example, the T300, TSXW, TGT, among many others. At the highest end of the spectrum are the direct drive wheels. Although they've been becoming more accessible lately, these are still on the highest end of the price range. Direct drive wheels connect a motor directly to the wheel. As a result, they are able to give off the most force, at faster speeds, and with more precision than belt driven and gear driven offerings. So there you have it. For most viewers of my channel, you probably already knew all of this. But as my channel grows and I begin to reach audiences who are newer to this hobby, I get asked a lot of these questions which I myself was asking when I was just starting out. 